what's good everybody it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk you guys know that I've dealt with a lot of brothers um, in the black manosphere content space communities uh, especially in the um, you know the the overall travel sector and I've met many good brothers like uh, Charles Tyler, who is now deceased, uh, Taylor Made Dreams, to name a few, many other brothers, some living in Brazil, some living in Colombia, and some living in uh, the Philippines. And, you know, when I first moved to Poland, I was watching these guys, some of them um, at that time, and they were talking about why they were moving away. And many brothers was talking about, they felt like, um, the women were more submissive there. They were talking about the women had a better attitude, that black men actually had more respect. So I was kind of listening into that. But, you know, uh, some of these situations cannot just be positives, but they can also be negatives. OK, and I want to talk about singer Keith Martin. Now, he was a singer in the 90s. He was found deceased in the Philippines and from what I understand and what I can read, he was known for having many um, young girlfriends in the Philippines, okay? He was just 55 years old, all right? But he had apparently uh, some young girls over there. He was doing his things over there. And people said that the, the reason how they found that he was dead because um, it was a foul s a smell emanating from where he was living at, all right? and people do not know how he passed um but folks are suspecting that it could have been caused by one of these young ladies okay and and i want to talk about that because you know we had a brother by the name of tim reed who was living in atlanta and he was in columbia and he had just made a purchase uh for a deal and then he was actually shot um, and robbed in broad daylight and many people suspect that the young lady that he was dealing with um, had something to do with it he lost about a quarter million dollars and, and all of that and I remember you know watching his son on Facebook and people found out told his son what happened and his son just kind of like you know deleted his page and everything like that it was a real real sad thing but I want to talk about some of the downsides of living overseas and dating women one of the things is that um, you don't really know certain people's motives, especially living in, um, I would say, Asia, um, countries like Philippines, maybe Thailand. You know, I know some guys in the DR in Colombia. You don't really know uh, the cultures of, of certain people. I'm not saying that people are bad, but you don't know. All right. You don't really know if you know, depending on who, what kind of people you're dealing with, sometimes you might not know who is who. And this is how some brothers are getting um, drugged. Okay, there's a lot of you know, um, episodes of that in Colombia, brothers getting robbed. And I'm not trying to say it happens all the time, but these things can happen. Okay, some brothers over there doing the wrong things. That could also happen, disrespecting the culture. Um, and then you can get, you know, a retaliation from that. But the, but the reality is that for many black men, um, wherever you go, there you are, okay? And a lot of brothers that, that have problems and that are reckless in the USA, some of these things ca can happen when you're overseas. And the issue is that when something happens to you and you're not in your country, people are not obligated to really help you, you know, or obligated to look out for you. Not to say that they wouldn't in America, but you know, people can die uh, you know, here overseas for something that could be easily cured in America. I believe like, for example, Amin Ra is a guy that used to be here on YouTube and uh, he's from California, just like myself. If you guys remember him, I did a few shows with him. Amin Ra uh, passed away in, in 2020 and he died. Basically, I believe he had a bacterial meningitis. Okay bacterial meningitis and that's something that you really don't get that in america but if if you can basically get that in the united states that's something that you can really 
get cured right away. But when you're in certain places, depending on where you are, and the healthcare system is kind of bad, it's kind of shaky, you know, you don't have money right away, um, you can be in a lot of trouble, all right? And if something happens to you, it probably could be covered up, okay? And I want guys to understand that. Um, and, and living overseas is not as easy as you think. I spent, let's see, a year and a half of my life um, in Africa. I spent uh, at least five years in, in Europe and in the, in the European Union is, you know, much better as far as infrastructure. But I could just, I could just tell you that it's a lot of, um, of, of, of waking up you got to do when you live outside of the States. You have to really be watchful of what you're doing. You have to be watchful of the people that you bring around you. Okay. And some people, unfortunately in the United States, um, people that would, that, that could ignore you because they're just busy doing what they're doing. Hey, you know, when you stand out, people are watching, people are looking for opportunities, you know? And a lot of times, some of the women that you might deal with, um, they may not be, you know, good people. A lot of times we could think that, oh, well, you know what? She ain't like the black women that I'm used to being around and all, and this, that, and the woo, 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 and all. And then and, and come to find out that person might not be cool. All right. And I wonder what his family must feel about, like, because like, how are you, how is he deceased for that long a time? And I'm urging guys to really, when you live overseas, understand that it's not cookies and cream. You know, a lot of brothers struggle living overseas. Um, you have to have a lot of infrastructure, especially if the language is different. Uh, you might need certain things, a lot of relationships to earn money and things like that. And I get it. Um, women can be, you know, better and it can be different, but also, you know, America has women from foreign countries that's in, in that's there, you know, if that's the case, it's, 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 it's a, um, much diverse space overseas ain't for everybody, you know, and a, a lot of times, you know, I, I've been seeing a lot of things happening to a lot of brothers overseas. This is coming from a guy who's lived overseas for seven years. And it's tough. It's tough. You know, especially as the things are happening in the world, um, people are getting a little bit and, and more economies are suffering. And if you got to understand, like when COVID hit in the United States, it was bad, but it was not as bad. Uh, Cause I remember when COVID hit, I made more money during COVID than I made in, in the regular times, certain industries you might've been able to get on, but COVID in most places in the world, especially in third world countries, it was devastating. So just think of what people um, are willing to do. Um, you know, if they can't go to work or uh, if their economies are fractured, if their economy isn't so diversified, you gotta keep it into perspective. You know, ask a lot of questions if you before you move someplace. You know, uh, talk to people, um, understand what you're dealing with. Because I don't want you guys to move and end up, you know, something happen like this, and your family is going to be asking questions. And you know, unfortunately, they don't have to tell you anything. You know, hey, you died over here, and you was dead for like three weeks, and whoa, well, I don't have to tell you. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Junk. I already appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe with the bell. Check out the first company at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains an all-time high. I'm out. Yeah.